Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just yesterday, I let you know that the ESU program, Extended Security Updates program, wasn't working on some PCs where there was a temporarily unavailable message. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft now has officially confirmed this as a known issue over on its known issues health dashboard page, saying that it has identified an issue in the Windows 10 Consumer Extended Security Updates enrollment process where the enrollment wizard might fail on eligible devices. Now, although Microsoft has confirmed this as a known issue, the good news is, is that Microsoft, due to the fact that this ESU wasn't working for some devices, has already rolled out an out-of-band emergency update, which is KB5071959. Now, Microsoft has this to say, this out-of-band OOB update is offered to consumer devices that are not enrolled in the Extended Security Updates ESU program for Windows 10. So if you are not enrolled, if you head to your Settings, Updated Security, Windows Update page, the update will be installed via Windows Update if you are not enrolled. Now, as you can see, I am enrolled. So I'm not seeing the update, which is an emergency update. And Microsoft says the update, which as mentioned is KB5071959, addresses an issue in the Windows 10 Consumer Extended Security Update ESU enrollment process where the enrollment wizard may fail during enrollment. After applying this update, consumer devices should be able to successfully enroll in ESU using the ESU wizard. Now, I've kept a couple of screenshots when I enrolled in the ESU. So this is what you should start seeing now. And when you click on enroll now, that should work. And that'll take you over to the enrollment wizard where you then can go through the relevant options and then sign up for the ESU. And I'll leave a video on how I did sign up for the ESU. I'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen because it has helped a couple of folks out. So just getting us all on the same page, so to speak, that that was confirmed as an official known issue. But nice to see that Microsoft has patched that issue for the ESU with KB5071959. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.